Now, this black brother represents mostly the diocesan priest. He shows no prejudice. He, he's kind to all persons, no matter what their background, what their religion is. He shows his kindness of Jesus. <laughs> The Britta is a, you might say, a conversation piece to most people because they see it. There are different styles of Berettas. A Britta really was a scholar's hat, used with those who taught in, the pro in the colleges, universities, and there are different kind of styles. But this particular style is the diocesan priestly look, and the Britta I'm having in my hand is an original. And when I was in the seminary, we always had to wear our Berettas. Even though we weren't priests, we had to look like priests and dress as priests. But the Beretta was very important in the seminary. So when we saw the, as you see the Beretta, I'm holding it correctly. As you see it, it's a square hat. It has three arches on it that you see here, but they're called horns. But there's one arch that's not an arch, and you see a pom-pom on the top. Well, as I'm facing you, Imagine, as you see, the bread I'm wearing on my head is correctly. Now, when we had our breaders, we used to remove our breaders and put them on top of our kneelers. When we put them on top of our kneelers, it would face us as if there was another priest looking at us. So as we faced ourselves, it was a meditation. So as we looked at the breader, we saw something spiritual. As we look at the horns, it reminds us of the ram horns that were used to call the people to prayer in the Old Testament, bring, bring attention. And it was also, the ram's horn was used also to put olive oil in when they consecrated a prophet or a king. So this represents half of the ram's horn, called the, the horns or the, the arch. This front part represents God the Father. The one on the side represents God the Son. The one on the back represents God the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In that order, because God created the world, the universe, everything, and man. But because of the fall of Adam and Eve, he promised to send a Messiah, which was Jesus, our Savior. And so it comes next, in the middle. After Jesus had risen from the dead and ascended to the right hand of the Father. This is why the arch is on the right hand of the Beretta. And then after his ascension, he sent the Holy Spirit upon the world. Now you see there's two spaces between this horn. This represents Jesus Christ, that Jesus is both God and man. Now you notice something else here. There's no arch here at all. Because that reminds us that much more has to be done to teach about the faith. So this represents the world itself. You see the pom-pom. It looks kind of cute. But there's a purpose. This pom-pom represents the world. It's not perfect. It's shaggly. All kinds of people. And our Lord says to teach all nations. It's in perfect world. So they teach all nations. We have all this to cover yet. Now we notice about something else about the Beretta. The front part has three corners. One, two, three, four. Each of these corners represents the church. The church is one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. The four corners represent north, south, east, and west to teach all nations worldwide. Now you also notice that this particular brother comes in different colors depending on the rank of the priest, bishop, monsignor, cardinal. The only one who does not wear a brother is the pope. Now, this black brother represents mostly the diocesan priest. And represents the black means he shows no prejudice. He, he's kind to all persons, no matter what their background, what their religion is. He shows his kindness of Jesus. Now, it always represents something else. That when we turn the bread upside down, it represents the tomb of Jesus' burial after his suffering death on the cross. They buried him in the tomb. Then on the third day, 
One, two, three. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He rose from the dead. I'm the resurrection and the life, as Jesus said. So it represents this. And this bread is, is a meditation for, especially in the seminary for all of us, was done every single day. And sometimes we have a rosy bead in the middle of it that represents our devotion to the Mother of God because without our Blessed Mother, we wouldn't have Jesus Christ as our Savior. So you have great devotion to the Mother of God. So this bread that I have in my hand is an original one. The one I have that I'm wearing is a, a modern-day copy. As you notice that the pom-pom a little bit smaller. And this bread collapses, flow folds up, so when I travel. So the folding up represents that we are priests dedicated to Jesus Christ who is both God and man. So when we fold it, it represents that one is with Jesus Christ. And that gives you a little idea, a summary of the bread of the, the Dehasim priesthood. The Taiji Vision Cultural Center, teaching, educating, and inspiring people around the world on the joys, mysteries, and history of the Catholic faith.